Hi guys, very good evening to all of you. Welcome to the video number 536. This is your instructor Ajay Pramar and today I have brought the another series in the text functions and uh, we're going to see that how to split the string uh, if it has you know uh, multiple values separated by hyphen separated by any special character right so this is going to be a very special video and uh, uh, you're watching youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Pramar we have got 500 and plus videos on this channel on you know on the topics like uh, Excel, Excel VBA access, front end, Outlook VBA access, VBA, and web designing as well, right? Though in the web designing, we don't have so many videos, but uh, whenever you ask me that you want to start the learning, uh, you want to be an expert in Excel, Excel VBA, or access or access VBA, then guys, this is how you should follow the sequence. And I discuss this, uh, you know, this the playlist sequence in my every video, so please take a note of it and when you are going to start any any of the you know these subjects uh, you want to learn please follow this the playlist okay so now uh, we, we are going to so what we are actually going to do in this uh, particular video is I'm going to show you exactly so this is basically I received this uh, the question from one of my students and uh, so we have got here the customer uh, the company's basically the description along with their status which is approved or may disapproved or the limit error as you can see here now what we have done here is that we have segregated the company description from the status and this is exactly the question is separate the status like approved or limit error or or this one disapproved from the rest of the string okay and keep the company part separate and the status separate so basically as you can see here we have applied some formulas over here and this is what i'm going to talk about it i'm going to explain you how we can do that right so let us start this immediately now the important point which i would like to tell you here is that how we going to start this now initially when i look at this you know this excel file i see that there is a basically a hyphen sign and uh, using the hyphen sign we can you know extract the 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 values from the left and from the right side so for example what we can do is we can find out the position of this hyphen and after finding the position of the hyphen let's say the position of the hyphen is coming 20 using the find function so that means 19 characters we needed from the left to extract this you know the company description but the point is if you look at this data carefully you'll find somewhere two hyphens are also coming for example if you look at this d10 here we have the two hyphens right and so this this is the problem area some 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 uh, uh the you know these uh, strings have a double hyphen and some have actually the two hyphens a uh, single hyphen right and moreover one more thing i want to tell you if you look at this very carefully this is not even a hyphen guys this is not a hyphen this is a special character which they have used so if you if you for example uh, if you just go and use this find and you say that i want to find the position of hyphen you know this is how we find find text what do you want to find go in this text within the text and the start number now if you're thinking that this is going to return you the number the position of the hyphen it is not going to return you the position of that guys right because these are actually the special characters which you will not find in your this key so you got to go in the insert and you know somewhere here we have these symbols you know if you click on these symbols the list is gonna come and these are the sort of these icons you know which are used so but anyways that's not the problem the problem is that i i can simply uh, it's not that i can't find because i can copy this if if they are smart then i'm more smarter we are more smarter than them right so if we have got some issue we can definitely give it a you know uh, maybe one or two minutes we can think on it and we will be definitely having a solution so i just go and copy this special character because hyphen is not working so now when you go and use that over here just paste that control v and now you're gonna press you know enter look at this it is coming right so we can find out the position but the problem is that as i said that in some of these cases we have the two also you know these symbols coming i'll call it hyphen so that's why i'm not going to concentrate on this part rather than concentrating on this part if you look at this carefully you have the inverted double quotes everywhere in every cell these are the inverted double quotes which you will not be able to find in your you know the laptop keys 
okay desktop keys so what you need to do again you just go and copy this control C and go to the formula and now here just control V8 so in this way guys we are going to find out the position of this inverted quotes and because this is not repeated this is the different code and if you look at this in the end we have a different code right this is more towards the right side this is more towards the left side i mean it's just the way you see it i don't know how you're gonna actually differentiate it but it is very clear that both are different right so guys now once we have found the position so i just go and drag this you'll get the position of all these single inverted quotes and this is what we needed right now just in case if you do not know the find function if you do not know the mid function which we are going to use in this video then no problem my friends you can go and check out the excel text function playlist okay it has got i think 10 15 videos there so you got to watch them in the sequence they are there right so i have kept the sequence from the very basic to the scrap uh, you know advanced level so just pick up the first two three videos you will understand when you go there and see the title of the video right so you will you will get to know about the find function you will get to know about the mid function left function right function so there are so many you know text functions like substitute is the another function and that is in fact we are going to use in this video also okay so find actually returns the position of a character any anything i mean now if you asking if you're thinking that why have put the double quotes around this inverted quote the reason is that uh, double quote is always required now this is basically your double quote remember now this double quote is available on my laptop obviously when you you know where you have this comma uh, the comma key just next to this enter enter key when you use the shift key the double quote comes right so this is how it is but this double quote and this inverted commas both are different that is what i'm trying to tell you so the idea is whenever you want to find anything for example you want to find the position of a in a string you put it that within the double quotes if you're just going to find the number like three four then you don't put the double quotes so double quotes are always going to be there if you don't if you do not do that for example if you just remove these double quotes and you you know press enter you will get the error make sense well i hope it it's it has made a sense to you now because i have shown you the demonstration also so i just keep these double quotes that's the rule now obviously uh, this is uh, you know f17 is showing you the error because needless to say that we have got the we have not got the any inverted quote over here right so it is simple that's why it is unable to find out the position of it now once you have find the position what is the next thing you want to do now here comes the interesting part now the thing is if you already got the position if you have got the position of this you know this inverted quote then that means now right now if i look at this the first example this says 34 guys now 34 what do you mean by the 34 if you have to explain this to somebody obviously you will tell them that this 34 actually is the position of your inverted quotes that means that behind this 34 there are 33 more characters including space including hyphen whatever it is right because space is also counted as you know a character so now the idea is if i want the customer if the company description without the status which means potential abc ceo dot sgp pta limited right then what i'm supposed to do in that case if you look at this carefully uh, uh if, if we go here you know if i say that mid function uh, the left function will start from the left because left we want the company from the left obviously so from the left it starts we go in the d3 and then the number of characters now if i just simply go and say that i want 34 characters then obviously you know you you are going to get the rest of the values as well so let me just show you let me just move it a little bit over here and double click here so you can see that you also get the this inverted quotes at the end and this is something you do not need and why it is coming because you're telling the left function to pull out the 34 characters 34 includes the position position of the inverted quote also now so what we can do we can subtract minus one from it isn't it so we can say that i need the 33 characters but when you press 33 then what happens even this hyphen the special symbol will also be counted because 33 means that you know you, you just need the all the characters before this inverted code which will include the hyphen as well 
right? So, and the spaces, well, if you look at this, we have a space over here, you know, this this is, I think this is a space also. You can see that this there is a one character over here, right? So we have to, and if I look at this, all the values here, they are separated by hyphen, then space, and then inverted quotes. So basically, I think we should go and, you know, subtract 34 minus, 34 minus three because one for the position of the inverted quotes the second for the space and the third for the hyphen so i'm just going to press three and let us go and check that so you can see that i've got my values back and if i just drag this wonderful so we are able to get all the you know the company's description over here right so ideally this is actually company description let me just copy that over here and here we are going to find the status right and and this is obviously the the position of your you know this inverted quotes isn't it right so inverted quotes i just write here quote inverse quote okay so now to find out uh, what we have after this this particular uh, 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 this inverted quote which function we are going to use now we will be actually going to use the mid function guys mid function the reason is because you already found the position of the inverted quote now what you're supposed to tell the excel is that just after the you know just after the inverted quotes whatever character we have whatever character we have we immediately want to start from there so that means in this case i want to start from a right in this case again i want to start from a for example if you come here from where you want to start obviously you want to start from l isn't it guys you know that's how and in this case what is the next character after this inverted quote d so that means what you will do when you use the mid function because mid is a function which you know allows you to start from anywhere after all it's the middle function so now what's going to happen you have the text you have the start number you have the number of characters so now what is the text you go in this cell this is my text now from where you want to start your search you want to start your search from 34 plus 1 as i said you don't want to start from 34 because if you start from 34 inverted quotes will also be a part of your this extraction which you want to avoid so that's why i'm saying that i want to start from 35 in this case 35 and then when you drag it it's going to be 39 plus 1 31 plus 1 31 plus 1 39 plus 1 then 40 plus 1 and so on so we have made the formula dynamic guys so now I just press comma again. Now this is very interesting. How many characters do you need? Now how many characters do I need if I start from A? Obviously you can count it 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I guess 8, right? I just press enter. You see that I got the approved. But the point is when you drag this formula down, this will not work for this. This will not work for this. You know because they have the different spellings, right? You, you cannot use this 8 as a constant to extract the rest of the numbers for example look at this it has extracted only eight characters if you calculate limit space and er you'll find it eight so that is the problem so what we are supposed to do because now it is also not possible for me to you know uh, to uh, to put this uh, to put to make sure you know to uh, to put this formula in, in in a way that you know everything should automatically come for example uh, it's not possible for us to go here and you know instead of this eight then we start counting how many characters we have in the limit error hyphen the role the colon sign you know it's not possible for us because you may have thousand entries so the best way is to we know that we want to get all the you know the characters after this single inverted code so what you can do you can give your best assumption i know that approved limit error the rule or disapproved they are not going to be more than 100 characters in your case you can put 500 600 1000 whatever so i'm just going to cover everything in this 100 characters no now when i drag this this is how i'll get the you know the everything over here now look at this you have your answer you got all the values here right now there is one simple uh, there is a problem which is that when you say that you need the 100 characters basically you have the closing inverted you know this quote also coming which we can simply avoid how you can avoid it well you just need to go here and i just go and copy this and we can replace this with the space guys so i just copy this Control c you come back here now remember that this is the answer which you're getting in right now in h3 it is approved and then the inverted quotes so you just go and write here substitute start the bracket now this entire output is going to be your text 
you know the output you know this this mid function this is returning you the entire function returns you approved and the the quotes the inverted quotes so that's going to be there that's 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 how we you know consider this as a text and in this then text in this output i copy the value which i want to replace with what with the new text called space this is how we write the space now again i'm repeating guys you should not be confused over here that this is the double code which you can use from your you know this keypad but this is not this is a special symbol and that's why i copied it okay so that's how it is now i press comma and i have the instance number now what is the instance number instance number is would you like to replace the you know second inverted code first inverted code third inverted code or like what yeah you know so you can put the instance number like that you can be specific but because we want to replace all the you know these codes however there is just one code coming in the end but if you if you ignore that if you don't use the instance number and just close the bracket then what happens substitute will, will replace all those you know items which you have asked to replace over here in the old text right so I just go and press enter and now look at this now here this is very interesting so why are we getting this error over here I think the error is coming because I simply forgot to put this in the double quotes over here like this okay I press enter and there we go bingo right so as I said double quotes are really really important so in the double quotes I have put this you know the inverted quotes that's how it is okay so now we just go and drag this and this is how we are able to now separate all the values i hope this makes sense to you guys right wonderful thing we have learned today now one more thing we can do uh, as you can see here we have the errors over here so in order to avoid these errors what you can do is you can obviously use the if error function so you can write here if error and if this function returns the error then what we would like to do we would like to maybe you know we can write here that uh, just a space we don't need anything you know that sort of thing you can do it over here so you just go and drag this so now you have the space over here and in this case again you can use the if error that we don't have the you know this particular piece over here so for any error for any error means that if you don't have the inverted code it should show you as a space like this right in fact in this case you know what i would suggest to you because if it does not have any status like in this case we don't have any status um, we definitely don't want to you know show it as a blank we want to show it as a company you know we want this the description back over here isn't it so rather than writing here you know the space in case the error comes we will just go and pick up the the company description from here so don't use the space i think that's much better because you will get your value back so if i drag this now you see that you get your company back so it says that if you are the error then i'm just gonna pull you back and when the error is going to come obviously the error is going to come when you don't find any single you know this inverted quote over there double inverse inverted quote whatever you want to call it over there right so that's how it is and in this case you just can leave this as space because obviously there is no need for that you know you or maybe you can just write here that not required so it's all up to you i mean i'm not sure how you're gonna do that so it's all up to you so i just go and drag this and that's how guys you have this wonderful you know the puzzle sorted out the question sorted out right now just for you i quickly go and remove the equals to sign so that you know you can see the formula here and you can practice on it right so i just go and remove the equals to sign you can have a look on this excel post the video and you can see that how we have done this right so this is how we have done it and i'm just gonna you know give you enough space over here so this is how your formula looks like right so thank you so much for watching and uh, uh, once again i want to give you a big big thank a big hug because uh, this week i'm celebrating my 5000 subscribers guys so thank you so much it's all because of you and that's why taking this as a huge huge responsibility i promise i keep coming back with your these wonderful questions and i keep on you know keep solving them so that everybody can be awesome in excel so we will access and access we will the aim i taken you know two years back to make everybody awesome Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video.